गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन प्लीज ओपन योर बुक इन कॉपी ओपन योर कैमरा Start your video, all of you. We have done till question number eleven. We have to start with question number twelve today. Okay. In exercise twenty F. All of you. Question twelve. A rectangular ground is ninety meter long and thirty two meter broad. In the middle of the ground, there is a circular park of radius fourteen meter. Find the cost of turfing. The remaining portion at the rate of rupees fifty per square meter. Okay, <clears throat> so easy question. There is a rectangular ground. In the middle of it, there is a circle. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, we are doing question number twelve. Yes. Okay, sir. Sir, I am done. Okay. so in the middle of the rectangular park there is a circular tank of radius 14 meter the radius of the tank is 14 meter length and breadth of the park of the ground rectangular ground is 90 by 32 90 meter by 32 meters okay you have to uh, find the cost of turfing the remaining portion that means the portion which is shaded i am shading it here in the book it is not shaded i am shading it you have to find the cost of turfing on the shaded portion okay <clears throat> so how will you find the area of shaded part Because we have to find sir, the cost. Sir, we will find of, the. Mm -hmm. sir, we will find the area of rectangle. Then the uh, the area of uh, circle. Then we will minus the area of rectangle from uh, circle. Correct. So area of shaded part is equal to area of rectangle minus area of circle. Right. So area of rectangle ninety minus thirty two minus ninety into thirty two sorry area of circle pi r square okay all of you what is the product Two eight eight zero minus what is the product here? Forty four into fourteen, fourteen four thousand fifty six. Fifty six plus five sixty one. Six one six. Six one six. Okay. 
टू बेटा सिक्स वन सिक्स चेक कर दो बेटा ट्वेंटी टू इंटू टू इंटू फोर्टीन इज सिक्स वन सिक्स नॉट फाइव वन सिक्स Two thousand two hundred eighteen minus sixteen. This much area we have to uh, do the turfing on this much area, area of the shaded part. Yes. Okay. Now the cost of turfing. Cost of sir, yes. Cost of turfing. The rate is given rupees fifty per meter square. So two two six four multiplied by fifty. What is the total cost? Find the product. One one three two zero zero. One one three two zero zero. Correct. <coughs> One one three two zero zero. Got it, all of you. Anything which you have not understood in the question? First, we had to find the area of the shaded part, which is very easy to find. Area of rectangle minus area of circle, you will get the area of the shaded part, and then you find the cost of turfing, which is. The rate is given rupees fifty per meter square, so you multiply two two six four by fifty. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Done. All of you. Yes, sir. Done. Can we do the next one now? Okay. Question number thirteen. In the given figure, four equal circles <coughs> are described about the four corners of a square, so that each circle touches two of the circles as shown as the as shown in the figure. Find the area of the shaded region, each side of the square measuring fourteen centimeters. Okay. Okay. So there are four circles. Equal size circles. as you can see the circles are touching each other you can see the figure all given in the book also okay all of you so these are the four circles my circles are little they are not perfect sir, sir, but are uh, the charchi circles are uh, big and small hmm Okay. <clears throat> Now there is a square which is touching all the four circles like this. Okay.
so this is the figure almost correct so we have to find the area of the shaded part in the figure the shaded part is this four circle and one square is there the side of the square is given and you have to find the area of this shaded part okay what it can anyone tell me how to do it how to do it anyone yes <clears throat> just try even if you are wrong no problem yes sir find the area of the square sir we will subtract the sir quadrant so quadrant area of sir first we will uh, abhishek <clears throat> Sir, first we will find the area of such uh, uh, square. Hmm. Then, sir, the uh, side will we will make half because, sir, it will be the radius. Correct. Then, sir, one upon four circles hmm. multiply pi hmm. r is square. Correct. Then, sir, we so, so, sir, <coughs> sir, then we will minus the we... area of square. the uh, the thing that you are saying one one by fourth of a circle that is known as a quadrant okay quarter of a okay. circle theek okay. hai quarter of a circle is known as quadrant <clears throat> so what we are going to do here we will first of all find the area of the square side of the square is given we can easily find out area of a square and then from the area of a square we will subtract the area of all the four quadrants okay we will subtract the areas of all the four quadrants these small parts of circles this part of a circle like this this is known as a quadrant do you all know why it is known as a quadrant what is quarter quarter means half of half yes one fourth One fourth means half of half, so it is known as a quadrant. Okay, so if we subtract all the four quadrants from the square, we will get the area of the shaded part. Okay, so let's find out the area of shaded part directly. First of all, let us write the dimensions. Side of a square given. How much? Centimeter. <clears throat> it is given fourteen centimeters. Correct. Seven. Can you tell me what is the radius of these quadrants? So seven. Correct. Radius equal to because the whole side is fourteen. This much it is fourteen. I'm marking it on the board. This is fourteen. So that means what is half of it? Half is only seven, right? If we talk about this part from here to here, it will be seven. this is the radius and this is 7 cm okay no doubt so area uh, so this is radius is 7 cm so area of shaded part is equal to area of square minus area of four quadrants mm -hmm. am i right area of a square minus area of four quadrants area of a square 14 multiplied by 14 now four quadrants are there how will you find the area of four quadrants you will find the area of one quadrant and multiplied by four am i right or not yes sir area of one quadrant multiplied by four that will give you the area of four quadrants So area of one quadrant. What is the area? Of? Just now, Aditya said, and we all know already that what is a quadrant? A quadrant is one fourth of a circle. We all know what is the meaning of one fourth, half of half. One fourth of a circle. That means one by four pi r square. Pi r square. What is r? Seven. Seven into seven. So this is the area of a quadrant. Now area of a quadrant multiplied by 
Got it, all of you. Fourteen into fourteen is one ninety six minus one by four into pi. Pi is twenty two upon seven into seven into seven <coughs> into four. So all these are in multiplication. We can cancel out this four and this four. Everything is in multiply. So seven and seven also you can cancel out. So one ninety six. What is twenty two into seven? One fifty four. One ninety six minus one fifty four. What is the difference? Forty two centimeters square. Answer. Clear. Understood the question. So it was looking like a difficult question, but not a very difficult question. If the only thing is that if you know the concept, how to do it, calculation is not difficult at all. Only the thinking, if you have clarity in your mind, clarity in your mind that uh, how we can reach to the shaded part, how we can find the area of the shaded part. Only the concept, if you know, that is the most important thing. Otherwise, there is nothing difficult in the question. <clears throat> okay done all of you yes sir done keep your mind off <clears throat> question 14 A horse is tethered to one corner of a rectangular field, sixty meter by forty meter, by a rope of forty meter. On how much area can the horse graze? Easy question. Do it in homework. Look at the figure also given in the question. I am not going to explain anything about this question. I want you all to try it. Read the question. Try to understand the meaning of the question. It is very easy. Very 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 easy. Okay. so tomorrow you all will show me what you have done in the question okay question 15 so there is a circle big circle then there are two small circles inside the big circle let me try to draw the figure Okay, and then there is another circle, the smallest one. Something like this. So we have to find the area of the shaded part of the <coughs> figure. Am I right? Find the area of the shaded part. In the given figure, a circle of diameter twenty-one centimeter is given. Inside the circle, two circles with diameters two by three and one by three of the diameter of the big circle have been drawn. Very good. So we have to find the diameters of the two smaller circles, as shown in the figure. Find the area of the shaded part. Okay, shaded region. So this area is shaded. we have to find the area of the how will we find the area just tell me the concept i am not asking about the dimensions how can we reach to the shaded region how will you get it everyone let me ask uh, let me let me ask someone okay who is going to answer yes utkarsh can you tell how will you get the area of the shaded part in the figure yes <clears throat> utkarsh yes sir 
ah how will you reach to the area of shredded part in the given figure then there are we will hmm this we will beta be a little quick lakshmi 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 are you there he is not there he was there in the meeting just now he left ashika yadav how will you find the area of the shredded part ashika ashika yadav yes, yes, how will sir. you find the area of the shredded region keep your videos on everyone sir please repeat again how will you you are not paying attention what we are doing in the class you are asking yes, like you were not there even in the class how will you find yes, the area sir. of the shredded part uh, at least four or five times i have repeated the question six times how will you find the area of the shredded part in the figure okay sir hmm both the small circles tell sir first first we will find both small circle then we yeah, will area area sir then we will usme se minus kar dena bade bade sir then minus the both circle from both आदित्य पाठक करेक्ट आदित्य राइट अभिषेक फर्स्ट वी विल फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ आउटर सर्कल Hmm. Then sir, inner two. Then sir, yeah. we will add both and minus uh, uh, with outward. Then we will get the sir shaded region. We can just say that from the area of the largest circle, we can subtract the areas of the two small circles. Okay, simple. Yes. This is what you mean. I understand, but just try to learn how to say things. Okay, so D one is the diameter of the largest circle, which is given twenty one centimeters. Diameter of the largest circle D one. D two. Can we say if D one is twenty one? Can we say that radius R one is twenty one upon two? Now D two. D two is what in the question they have said that the diameter of the smaller one of the smallest smaller circles. Is two by three times of the diameter of the largest circle. Two by three times. That means two third of twenty one. Am I right or not? Yes, sir. So you get seven here. Two into seven, fourteen centimeters. Right. Therefore, we can say that R two is seven centimeters. Half of radius. Sorry, half of diameter. Radius equal to seven. And D three, D three is one third of the radius of D three is one third of the diameter of the largest circle. That is one by three times of twenty one. So you get seven centimeters as the diameter of the third circle, smallest circle, 
R3 equals to 7 upon 2. Clear everything? The dimensions are clear? Yes, sir. Now the area of shaded region. equals to area of largest circle minus area of the two Area of the two smaller circles. Okay. Okay. So now area of larger circle by R3, sorry, R1, larger circle, radius of the larger circle, we have taken the symbol as R1, pi R1 square minus pi R2 square plus pi R3 square. Clear? <clears throat> Put the values 22 upon 7 into R1 square. R1, 21 upon 2 into 21 upon 2. Minus R2, 7 into 7, R2 square, plus pi into R3 square, 7 upon 2 into 7 upon 2. Clear, all of you? So what do we get here? 11 into 3 into 21. 33 into 21, 63, 63 plus 6, 69, 693 upon 2 minus 22 into 7, 154 plus 11 into 7, 77 upon 2. Okay. Now you can open the brackets. And after opening the brackets, you can simplify by taking LCM. Who is the LCM? So we are what, what we are doing here, we are just simplifying fractions, which you already know very well, I think. So 2 is the LCM, here the denominator is 1. What is the LCM of all the three denominators? It is 2. 6, 9, 3 minus 3, 0, 8 minus 77. Find out. All of you. Three zero eight, I think. Is it three zero eight upon two? After subtracting. So 308 divided by 2 is 154. Yes, sir. 154 centimeters square is the area of the given the area of the shaded part of the given figure. Okay. <clears throat> Got it, all of you? Yes, sir. Just a minute, let me share my link.
Is it visible? No problem. Done. All of you. Yes, sir. Question sixteen. Start doing very easy question. I know you all can do it right now yourself. Easy question sixteen. Start doing it in your copies. I'm not giving you any hint. Just do it and show me the solution in the group. Post a picture after doing it quickly. तो कर जल्दी यस ऑल ऑफ यू डन पोस्ट कंप्लीटेड एंड पोस्ट योर आंसर Thank <laughs> you. 